that. I don't know why I'm so amazed by that. I mean, it's a fact that fake lashes make you feel like a bad Hey everyone, good morning. Or at least it's morning for me. I don't know when y'all are watching this, but um, today we are gonna try out these new um, Kiss lashes, the magnetic lashes. Um, these are the Lure ones. So, um, obviously I don't have any makeup on yet, so I wanted to go ahead and, um, turn on the camera and start recording while I do my makeup. I'm just going to do it super fast. I'm not going to like talk through it or anything so that you guys can see, uh, the finished product instead of, you know, watching me ramble the whole time. So I have heard so many things about these, so many good things. I have, uh, read reviews, lots of positive reviews. And uh, I asked on my Facebook page a couple of people um, if they had tried these or not. And a lot of people said yes and that it was, you know, they were really great. But a lot of people said the opposite. So I guess we're gonna see uh, for ourselves. I ordered these from Walmart and I actually ordered them like a month and a half ago. They took forever to come in, but I actually forgot that I ordered them. Um, but they did come in and I, granted, I ordered them in the middle of all this pandemic stuff and shipping for everything is kind of wonky right now. But I finally have them. I'm excited to try them. And uh, so let's stop procrastinating and get to the makeup.
So now that everything is finished, um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this guy. So this is just a super quick um, makeup look, something that's easy, not something that's going to take forever. It took me about 20 minutes to do, so, you know, just something that you can hurry up and throw on and walk out the door. So this one came with the uh, magnetic liner. A lot of them don't come with it. You have to order them separately. I know that I have mascara right here, by the way. I'm waiting until it dries so I can scratch it off. Um, these are the most natural looking ones that I could find, which is what I like in a liquid lash. I mean, in a um, false lash. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this liner. Okay, so it is a brush. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. Okay, let's put it on the eye. This little brush is very thin and it makes it super easy to get right up under that lash line. So that's good, I like that. Some people that I talked to about this said that you have to do kind of a thick layer of this in order to get the uh, lashes to stick to it. But I'm gonna try and do just like a thin layer because I don't really like thick, thick liner. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing today. Maybe next time, I don't know. So that's the liner on one eye. No, this is probably driving y'all crazy, so let me get rid of it. There we go. That's as good as it's gonna get. All right, now the other eye. So that is both eyes with the magnetic liner. Now let's do the lashes. Oh my gosh, how cool. Okay, so the package, whenever you get it, the way that these are stuck on here are to these little magnets. Look how cool that is. I don't know why I'm so amazed by that. Okay. No more funny business. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm trying to use my tweezers, but they're sticking to my tweezers. I might just have to use my hands. I don't know if you can see, yeah, I see it there. It's not sticking, this part. So. This requires a lot of concentration. I might need to trim these. I really don't want to because there's like the way the little magnets fall. There we go, okay. Oh, no, it came off. Okay, I'm having some issues here. It wants to stick. Maybe I didn't do it thick enough because when I blink, see it comes up in that corner. Okay, I'm going to, but see how much extra I have over here? I might have to trim them. Let's see if that helps. 
haven't trimmed them yet. I just um, want to see if it'll work without having to trim them. Because I really don't want to because see, see the where the magnets are? See? Magnet, 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 magnet. So if I trim it, I'm gonna have to take that much off. This much, and I don't know if I need to take that much off, or it's not gonna stick at the end. So I'm going to try not to trim it. sticking much better now to the inner corner and on the outer I think I just need a tiny bit more instead of trimming them I think I can make it work I just need to put a little bit more of this maybe I'm supposed to shake it first I didn't read any instructions, so, but it's going well. <laughs> so, can't complain. Oh, looks like we're trying to come up in this corner. Yep. If I push it, it'll stay, but when I blink, it really wants to come up. Introduce Can you see that? In this inner corner. I just have really tiny eyes. <laughs> I, this is my struggle with most um, false lashes. I always have to trim them and I have to get super simple, natural looking ones or else they don't work for me because my eyes are so small that it just like takes over my whole eye. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to trim them. Ugh, okay, let me try this one. This one went on so much better and it's not coming up in the corner. This one is on there. Why is this one being such a problem child? Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Y'all, I was so hopeful for these. blink my eye the more it wants to come off this one hates me maybe I still didn't put enough in this inner corner I'm gonna try that I really don't want to trim it I feel like I'm gonna ruin it okay now I'm just waiting for it to dry again I really like the way this this one looks but look I want to show y'all this is magnetic false lashes. This, which looks similar, though not quite as dramatic. This is Lime Life Mascara. Nothing else does for my lashes what this stuff does. And this is with liner. You know how hard it is for me to get my lashes to look like this ever? Including, like whenever you have liner on, it takes up like a chunk of space and then you can barely see your lashes. You can still see these. I think we're dry enough. Let's try one more time without trimming. just gonna bite the bullet and trim them. Okay, hopefully this works better. That 
that is better and it feels like they're actually on there. Okay. All right, what do we think? Do we like them? Do we hate them? Overall, that was a much quicker and easier process than glue on lashes for me personally. I hate glue on lashes. I try to use them fairly often because they look fantastic if you can get them to stick. This inner corner is always what I struggle with. And now that I've trimmed them, they, and put a little bit more liner, they seem to be sticking really well. And they look, they look pretty bomb, honestly. Let me see if I can give you guys more of a close up. They're really pretty. Okay, this is the best lighting in my house. It's in my kitchen. So, what do we think, y'all? I love them. I mean, there's a little bit of a learning curve, obviously, with using the um, liner and making sure that you have enough of it. And also with the length of the lashes. See this one? I trimmed it and now there's not a magnet on the very end. So it's not sticking on the very end. I knew that was gonna happen. But other than that, I really like them. <sighs> okay, so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. Um, comment below and give me your opinion. I bought them from uh, walmart.com and uh, they were like $15 to get the liner and the lashes together. I would wear these, I would, um, but I would be uh, worried that they were gonna come up in the corners a little bit throughout the day. So I would feel like I need to constantly be checking and making sure that my lashes are stuck to my face still, which is annoying, but it's the same way for me whenever I wear glue on lashes and they come up in the uh, corners and then there's no option to just restick them to a magnet. If you don't have any glue, you either have to just pull them off or have them flying away. So these are a win in my book. I'm probably gonna wear them again. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope y'all have a good one.